Crawl Space, Part 3. In the first uh, video, we talked about safety. The second video, we talked a little bit about timbers and structural wood. Um, in this particular video, we'll talk a little bit about the uh, mechanical piping and um, hydronic systems. Um, if you notice here where uh, there's a cardboard, uh, you definitely do not want cardboard or any type of cellulose product on the floor of a dirt or soil crawl space. You're going to have what's called damp rise and you can form a dew point underneath that. So now you're going to have mold and mildew and cellulose products, cardboard, carpeting, these types of product boxes, these types of products will amplify and produce MVOCs, microbial, volatile, organic compounds. And that's like the mold odor that you're going to get. So, you know, you don't want to have any cellulose products, especially on soil floors uh, in, in soil uh, dirt crawl spaces. You also, you want to be very careful um, crawling around and because over the, the, the years, uh, installations were put in so you've got a lot of electrical conduits that may have been added let's say they wanted a light for the organ player and maybe they wanted sound speaker systems in certain areas and they had bathrooms and plumbing systems so there's always new work that's being done in these uh, underneath and so be careful crawling around for example here you see the stack pipe you don't want to sit on this lean on this um, because what you what could happen is you could disrupt one of the joints so now you leave and now this thing starts dripping for the next 10 years until the next person goes in there and now you have you'll have a, a sanitary condition that uh, uh, is not very um, good because now you have to remove you know contaminated soil so don't stand touch or anything with the plumbing pipes or any mechanical also here where the the you can see how the the car just kind of fell off a cliff and um, kind of got stuck down in here we had to go find it but what happens is uh, in these areas you also have it's not going to be level and so if there's partition walls they had to dig down deeper usually like below the frost line usually 36 inches in cold weather climate zones such as ohio wisconsin might be like 40 48 you know uh, the farther north you get the deeper the foundations need to be so there's going to be uneven areas and they're not going to fill those in um, as we are going through this room you'll actually see one of the vents in the walls and uh, the thing with the vents is a lot of these vents are really low to the ground on the outside and so that's an access area for water especially if the gutters are overflowing or if you have poor grading and so um, always look at the access uh, the areas or the vents to the exterior and look at the outside grading look at the gutters look at the downspouts because uh, that's where the water comes in um, also, you'll notice that we have a lot of missing insulation. We talked about that in the earlier video. When the insulation falls off the hydronic water or steam pipes, as we talked about earlier from whatever reason, um, then they become less and less efficient because now as the water runs through the pipes, the heat is lost into the crawl space and it's a it's a vented crawl space so now the heat's going outside you know and you're heating up the backyard for the squirrels and birds but if it was a conditioned crawl space then if you had this heat loss then you wouldn't lose as much because now the heat would stay in there and you'd have some type of you know heat um, transmission through the floor so the buildings are getting older the insulation is falling off the pipes and basically becoming less and less efficient plus the the insulation that falls off the cold and hot water pipes it may take a really long time to get hot water to a bathroom so now you're wasting time waiting for the water to get warm at the sink and every time you turn on that water spigot you might waste five gallons of water and so you know you might want to check all the insulation on the domestic pipes even the cold water and the hot water well this is the end of recording number three and uh, please watch recording number four